Alright, so it's been about a week or two since I uploaded a video, and I'm finally debuting the Face Mask Fridays of the Beauty Bar. So, this week we're going to do my favorite face mask that just cleans your pores and gets you like this beautiful glow, and your skin's just amazing. Um, So, let's get started. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need Ben and Tight Clay Powder. You can get this from, I got it from mine from Whole Foods. It was like $10, but it comes with so much. It'll last you forever. I've had this like over a year, maybe two years. It's perfect. Then I use apple cider vinegar. I have a huge one because I drink it. I put it on my skin as a toner. I do everything. And then you're gonna need coconut oil for after. You don't have to use coconut oil. I personally use like, I personally use coconut oil, but you can use your own moisturizer. So let's get started. I just got out of the shower, so my skin and my pores are nice and open, so this is the perfect time to do this mask. So you, what you wanna do is you never put a spoon in here. Something about like metals with the powder, like um, breaks down the chemicals or whatever it is in here that's really good for you. So I just like dump a little bit in. Have a clear bowl. Yeah, that happened. That always happens. So I use about this much, if you can see it. Um, I like mine to be like really thick and they like hurt. So you don't have to do anything. You can put a thin coat if you're like in a rush, you want it to dry quickly. But I like to put a really thick coat. And then we're just gonna add the apple cider vinegar. I'm not gonna show that on camera. This bottle's way too big. You probably can hear it. Yeah, it's buzzing. And I just use my finger to mix it and get the consistency I like. Um, I like it to be a little clayey, not too soupy. So I kind of just play around with it. If I put too much, too little, you know, change up, add a little, whatever, whatever. You get the point. I always end up making too much, but you can put this over your whole body. So like... I've like, like say if you have like acne on your back or your arms or whatever, this is probably really, really good to like clean out your pores. Um, I even saw it, like says like they put it on your feet and your feet will be like ridiculously soft. So this is the consistency I kind of like it at. Like it drips a little bit, but not too much. So let's apply. It's the best way out. to apply this yeah. after you wash your face. So as you see, I have I'll like a layer and then I go and put the rest you know, on. Pores are open when you get out the shower. The top of like so the layer this on, already, like, like, really get all dried. up in there. Cause I you like anything? it really, Disgusting really out. coated. So yeah. You shouldn't put it close to your eyes. I do. I put it all up in my eyebrows. Probably shouldn't do that, but I have really thick eyebrows. So it's really important for me to open up the skin. Like in my eyebrows to make sure like no dirt is in it. Cause you know that's what your eyebrows are for, right? Catching dirt. I definitely put a lot around my nose. Cause like typically that's where your pores like clog up a lot. And a lot on my chin area. So there's that. I let that sit for about five to ten minutes, depending. And then we're gonna rinse it off. Okay, so guys, just wash my face. Remember, let the mask get hard. So it takes about five to ten minutes, depending on how much you put on there. I let my face like cool down because typically my face is like really, really, really red afterwards so i let my face cool down before i got on camera so after that you might have a couple of whiteheads i had like one right here i kind of pushed up but because it's a deep pore cleanser it like really gets really deep so typically when i wash it off i might have like little whiteheads places but i can just massage my face and a little white pus comes out without leaving a dark mark or anything like that so then i get my good old trusty i use unrefined virgin coconut oil i get mine from target it's um I like the unrefined kind. I feel like it's the most natural. So yeah, get some oil and it's starting to melt already. Put it in my hand, lather it up. And just like massage it in my face. I'm gonna look real shiny on camera. On my lips, forehead. But just because it may, I have dry skin, so that mask is kind of drying. I started to only use it like once a week. So just do deep cleansing. I used to use it like two or three times a week, but it's just way too strong. So I use it once a week and it's very drying on my skin, but it cleans the skin really good. So after that, I just massage oil into my skin really deep clean. You don't really need a lot of coconut oil. Coconut oil is really good for the eyebrows and the um the eyelashes. Makes them grow really good. Same for castor oil. Either one. Castor oil makes it really, really fast. Coconut oil is really good for the skin. So I just massage it in everywhere. I put the mask and like my skin. And like if you have a little bit of water still left, putting that on the massage, massage and then when you still have the water left is really, really good. It leaves your skin feeling like super, super soft. 
and nice and moisturized. So that is my favorite deep pore mask. It's like really good if like you wear a lot of makeup on like a regular basis and you really need to do like a deep clean. I definitely would suggest, you know, doing it twice a week, maybe once on Sunday and then, you know, hit your middle of the week, do a Wednesday, Thursday type of thing after you do wore your makeup for a couple of days. And just like it really, really gives you that good deep clean. So I hope you enjoyed the first edition of Face Mask Friday for the Beauty Bar. Hit me with a thumbs up if you want more videos like this and you enjoyed this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to link that right here. Make it nice and easy for you. And don't forget to share with your friends. Check me out on Snapchat. My name, my username is Wendy Rose. So it's Wendy, W-I-N-D-E-E. Rose, and then on Instagram, I'm Wendy dot in the city. Yes. Um, don't forget to check out my online store. I'm selling, selling, selling some goods on there, like a re cleanse for spring cleaning, and that's Wendy in the city dot ticktail dot com. And if you have any questions, any video requests, or just personal ans questions and answers or anything like that, send me an email at info dot Wendy in the city at gmail dot com. Thanks for joining me again, and I'll see you all next time. Look out for the next a vlog coming soon. I'm thinking about doing a vlog series or like a cooking vlog series. So um, leave some comments below if you think you'll like a cooking vlog type series. So yeah, enjoy. Have a good weekend and I hope you love the face mask. This is the bag. The Alexander Wang Rocky bag. Um, sometimes it gets mistaken for the Rocco. No, this is the Rocky. So the miniature version. It is in like this limited edition color. It was like a goldy bronzy color. Um, with iridescent, so mm, kind of. Let's take a move. So in the light, in certain lights, you can see like it's regular brown, but then it has like reddish and orange undertones. Love this bag.